Hi, my name is Pam Denny. I'm an analytics architect with the IBM Maximo development team. And this is the second part of our video series, and we're going to talk about entitlement and licenses with the new Maximo 761 Cognos Analytics integration. So let's jump right into our topic today and review the details again with Maximo 761 and how you are directly entitled to Cognos Analytics 1111 and also the Maximo Cognos integration. So often people ask what is included with this entitlement. Well, the key parts are on two sides, the Cogno side and on the Maximo side. So the Cogno side, what you get, the products that you physically get with Cognos Analytics are number one, the Cognos Analytics server. This is where the majority of the features, the product, the functionality is contained. If you're familiar with Cognos 10, this was known as the Cognos BI server, but they've chained a number of the products that are contained within it, and I'll show you that in just another slide. You also get Framework Manager, which is the Windows-only Cognos product, and with Framework Manager, you can either create your own Cognos models on the fly, or you can take the models produced by Maximo through the Maximo integration framework and review or extend them. And lastly, you'll get a suite of analytic samples to help you get started. First, let's review the Cognos Analytics server in detail because this is where the majority of the products and the functionality are held. I've set this up as a chart so you can see the Cognos products on the far left-hand side what you're entitled to with Maximo 7.6 and Cognos 11 on the right-hand side. And in the middle, if you've previously used Maximo 7.6 with Cognos 10, you might be familiar with the BI server products. So there's a comparison here if you're interested in that. But again, what we want to focus on is with Cognos 11 in the analytics server, what are those products that you get? First, the Cognos connection, that's the landing page where the user will access their content and navigate through the various functionality. Cognos administration for your admin, setting up security, roles, access, etc. Report studio for your report developers. It's actually been rebranded in Cognos 11. It's not really called report studio, it's called reporting and it contains the depth of features that you previously had in Cognos 10, plus, plus many more exciting new features. It's interesting to note that we no longer entitle you to Query Studio and Cognos Workspace and Workspace Advance. Cognos is deprecating those products and replacing them with new and exciting self-service features, including web-based modules and dashboards. And those are the new features that you'll see here with the analytics server. So you've got these whole host of enterprise-wide features and functionality with the analytics server in Cognos 11. Now on the Maximo side, what do we provide to enable the integration? Well, there's a couple of key points here. First is we provide the Cognos package publishing. As I mentioned, one of the ways that you can start creating reports is through a package. And a package is basically a collection of database objects that are pre-joined. And we have a, a capability that you can produce those packages dynamically within Maximo, specifically within the integration object structure application. You can create a report object structure and publish that directly as a Cognos model. You could either extend that in Framework Manager and use it as is, but that ability to publish those packages is a huge benefit if you want to get up and running really, really quickly on Maximo and Cognos. We also provide a silent launch point from Maximo to Cognos. You can sign into Maximo and from any application, you could go directly to Cognos Analytics or you could go there directly from the homepage, the Start Center in Maximo. Another launch point that people have asked us for is they have some Maximo users 
who necessarily don't want to go to Maximo first. They want to go directly to Cognos Analytics to perform some sort of analytic exercise. So we do provide a direct login to that URL if you're also interested in that. Again, I want to highlight two products that are no longer included with the integration with Cognos Analytics. That's Cognos Workspace and Cognos Query Studio. I've highlighted a URL here from Cognos that you can review if you're more interested in that. But basically, Cognos is working towards a goal of simplification and efficiency. They had heard from their users that there's so many different studios and there was a lot of confusion. Do I use Query Studio? Do I use Report Studio? Do I use Workspace Advanced? A lot of different navigation, a lot of different support and questions. So again, they've basically consolidated each one of these studios and functionality into a new and improved reporting module in Cognos Analytics. And I've used it a number of times. It's really, really excellent. And I highly recommend um, the, the capabilities within that module. So that's what you're entitled to with, again, Maximo 761 and Cognos Analytics. But what about your licensing? Well, the licensing has two important points. First off, it's a one-on-one -on -one license. That means if you have 50 Maximo users, those 50 Maximo users are directly entitled to Cognos Analytics. The important point is that Cognos Analytics is an on-premise solution. This integration entitlement does not support Cognos Analytics on the cloud. I've mentioned that you can have a trial period of Cognos Analytics on the cloud, but that's a 30-day trial period to get you used to the features and functionality. But again, the entitlement is Cognos Analytic on-prem. And the other thing that it entitles to you, again, is the Maximo Cognos integration. A couple of key points about the licensing is number one, this is for Maximo data only. If you have other databases in-house, which you all would, you cannot utilize those external databases, external to Maximo, with your Cognos Analytics entitlement. So again, the analytic entitlement is only for data within the Maximo database. How you get to that data, you can connect directly to your Maximo database. You can also export data from Maximo a number of different ways to CSV or XLS format, and that content can be quickly consumed by Cognos Analytics, including the methods displayed here, and that's also included. So if you take a result set, get an XLS file, and just want to quickly upload it to Cognos Analytics to analyze, that would be covered in the license. Now, in terms of the different license model that we have within Maximo, Cognos Analytics pertains to the three that I've highlighted here. It does not pertain to your desktop rack or self-server users. It pertains only to express, limited use, and authorized Maximo licenses. I also wanna highlight the deployment methods. I mentioned that the License is for Cognos on-prem only. So what does this mean? If you are a Maximo on-prem customer, you are directly entitled to Cognos Analytics on an on-prem environment. If you wanted to use Cognos SaaS, you could, but you would be responsible for your licensing and hosting fees for that. If you're a Maximo SaaS customer, you can have Cognos Analytics on-prem. So you could set up your own Cognos Analytics server and the Maximo SaaS team would work with you to support that. But in terms of using Maximo SaaS to Cognos SaaS, again, you would be responsible for your licensing and hosting fees. So that is our second video, again, on the Cognos Analytics series, where we reviewed the Maximo Entitlement and Licensing. So thank you very much for your time.